fucking artsy I can be. This time on Professional Awesome Project Cars, we've got Project Excite. Project Excite is a 2001 Honda Insight. It's got a K24A2 swap with an RSX transmission. I did this swap primarily because I wanted a car that got really good fuel economy, but was also fast and could show up Mustangs and Corvettes and, you know, most other things when you're driving around. So it's a true definition of a sleeper. Nobody thinks this thing's gonna be fast and it's a whole lot of fun. It's about 220 wheel horsepower, weighs about 1,890 pounds, so there's a lot of fun to be had. It handles great because there's basically no weight. So I'm going to walk you through basically how I did this swap. A lot of all the commercially available options I wasn't really fond of in terms of the mounting kits or otherwise, so I made my own mounting. Um, I made basically everything else for the car as well. So front suspension's a custom Ford, Fortune Auto setup, uh, 510's up there. I made some bushings in the suspension um, just to make it a little bit better and handle a little better. The rear suspension's got some custom bits as well. The interior's got S2000 seats, uh, S2000 steering wheel, and uh, S2000 gauge cluster because these were built right next to S2000, so might as well be an S2000. But basically, updates to this car as we move forward are gonna be um, some updates to the suspension make it a little bit better. We're gonna do some work, uh, install an exity clutch, a better clutch. We'll do um, some engine mods and improvements there, some cooling mods, um, some interior mods to make it a little bit more um, user-friendly and, and a little bit more comfortable inside because right now there's nothing in the back where the batteries used to be in the hybrid system was removed. So follow along with us on this project and uh, I'll show you what I've done here so that you can do it yourself. The engine's a K24A2 with minimal mods. It's got a Skunk 2 intake and a K-tuned exhaust and a 50 degree VTC from a RSX. That's basically it. The transmission is an RSX Type S transmission, six speed, with carbon synchros and a custom final drive. The custom final drive really skirts the line to allow me to get really good fuel economy but also be relatively quick everywhere else. Like I said, the front suspension is a Fortune Auto set of 510s that have been custom valved um, for this project, as well as custom top hats and uh, custom lower control arm bushings that allow this whole system to bolt up. The engine management is handled by K-Pro V4 with a wiring harness by Wireworks. The interior's got some custom touches, like I said. It's got some S2000 seats, an S2000 steering wheel, which is very much like the stock inside steering wheel, only wrapped in leather. It's got an AP1 gauge cluster and a custom entertainment center with eight speakers and a tablet display. So since we forgot to shoot an outro, the car's in a different place and I'm wearing different clothes. But now that you know a little bit about the car, the point of this thing, like I alluded to before, was power to weight, fun to drive, and good gas mileage. I have some forum posts out there and um, basically a blog post about it, and I call it the jack of all trades. So that's really what this car is intended to be. It's supposed to be as good as you can get in almost every category possible, but it's not the, really the best at anything. So follow along with this, and uh, we'll try to do some upgrades, we'll try to do some cool things with this. Uh, these cars are awesome, the engineering is awesome, so I really do like them, even though they look ridiculous. But follow along with those, um, and then next up for Professional Awesome Project Cars is gonna be the introduction to the Snowbra.